In today's video, I'll show you how to replace your electrical outlet box or old work box. The reason we're going to replace the outlet box, the old gang box, here you can see I have an outlet and they come with the screws. These are the original screws that go into the actual box itself. Over time, it becomes loose and the screw no longer secures due to the threading. Here's a better close-up view. The screws don't secure. And so to fix this problem, the previous technician will use another screw, such as a drywall screw, or a bigger screw that will snug in there. Now, this is temporary. The more you use your outlet, especially if it's an outlet where you're plugging things in, it continues to wear and tear. And you see eventually it'll pull out. And you can see here, it just gets worse and worse. Previously, to fix the problem, you would have to open up the drywall remove the box, install the new box, and then fix the drywall. But there's so many different types of work gang boxes, electrical outlet boxes that you can utilize where it makes it much simpler to install without having to open the drywall. If you're working on an outlet or any sort of light switch, the first thing you need to do is to turn the power off. This is the breaker panel. You would find which breaker corresponds with the area that you're working in and then you would simply turn off the power. Once the breaker is off, you'll want to test the lines. You'll use your multimeter, you have your electrical circuit tester. If it's an outlet, you can go ahead and use your outlet tester. This we're going to be working on is a low voltage uh, box. This is for the telephone line. I don't need to utilize any equipment for these. The wires are low voltage so I can start working on these. However, if you are working on a light switch or an outlet, you do want to turn the power off, ensure the power is off by utilizing the right tools. If you're uncomfortable, if you do not feel like you're able to do this, you will need to use a certified electrician. What you're gonna find is on the side, you have a stud, a piece of wood. This is gonna be true whether you're working on a outlet, a light switch, if you have a stud finder, you can easily use your stud finder to see which side the stud is on. So here we're reading it's on the left side. And even if you zoom in, you can see the wood on this side. That's not often the case. You can see here on this outlet, it's much tighter. So you won't be able to see at times which side the stud is on. I'm going to use my oscillating tool. And a lot of times on the side where the stud is, there's going to be a nail or a screw holding the box into the wall. Quick test is to use my tip and you see I can go all the way through. Because on this side, I can feel the screw or the nail. Don't have an oscillating tool, you can use an old school handsaw. Again, for safety reasons, make sure before you start working on your outlet, your light switch, regardless if it's 120 volts, 240 volts, or low voltage, that you ensure that there is no power going direct to the line. If you're using your oscillating tool or your handsaw, be careful that you do not cut the wires. So go very slowly. You see here, we cut the old nails out. The box did fall. If it falls, don't worry about it we can start working on installing the new gang box electrical outlet box. There are different boxes that you can use on these specific ones. These are the ones that have the clip or the wing on the back. And as you put these inside the wall and you secure it, the wing actually opens up and starts to secure to the drywall. We're going to have to feed a wire through. So you're going to see which side you're going to have to open the clip. If the wood is on the left, and the wires coming on your left side, open the left side. If it's on the right, you'll do the same for the right. You'll just insert your screwdriver onto the back end and you'll just push the clip up. The wire through. You can see here, I have the clip and nail position. 
and I'm going to use my drill and slowly tighten it. I'm not going to over tighten it, I'm going to be gentle, uh, go as slow as I can while I'm doing this. I'll over torque it. As soon as I felt it grabbing snug, I'm going to start working on the bottom. Now that it's nice and snug, I'll use my screwdriver to tighten it. You can see here it's nice and snug. Feed your wires through. If you have an outlet or a light switch, this is where you'll make your connections. Here I have the new light switch. I'm just gonna dry fit it. I'm not gonna actually install it. It's just so that you can see it. And this is how it should be. You don't wanna over tighten it. Just make sure it's nice and snug. That's how you would fix this problem. There are some individuals that I know that like to add extra security to the box and they'll put like a drywall screw going sideways into the wood stud. This is up to you depending on what you're trying to accomplish. But as so far as I've been using these boxes, they've been very good, very secure. And as I said, this eliminates you having to uh, do any damage to your drywall. Put your outlet cover on. be able to even tell that there was work done. This video was a help. If it was informational, please subscribe.